Which notes app should I use? That is a question that we could spend the next 10 years researching, right? Because there's, it seems like there's an app that drops every other day. And that's a good thing, which, because it means that there is a notes app for you out there, but also because there's so many options. How do you know which one is right for you? My goal here today is to help you find clarity in what exactly you're looking for in a notes app so that it's easier to choose and then get started with your personal knowledge management adventure. Let's dive in. Ultimately, you need to choose a notes app that number one, you love using, and number two, is intuitive or easy for you to use. You love using it, meaning that when you open the app, you get excited. You get excited about actually using the app, all the features that come with it. You're delighted when you use the app. You just love using it, right? If you don't love using it, you're not gonna use it. And then the other one is it's easy for you to use. It's intuitive for you to use. Remember, every app is designed for a specific user or maybe a couple of users, and, and they have those users in mind when they're designing their apps, right? It's right on their website. Let's, let's take a look at a, a few examples. Notion, your wiki docs and projects together, okay? This is their, their hero section tagline right there. This is telling you, this is for the person that wants all of it in one place, all that you can do in one place. Rome, a note-taking tool for networked thought, okay? This is an app that is for somebody who wants to link their ideas and connect their ideas together. Uh, Evernote, right? Tame your work, organize your life. This is something that, this is for a person that is wanting to simply organize their life, right? And reduce maybe some of the the uh, complexity of work when it comes to knowledge management. Obsidian, this is a little bit longer. A powerful and extensible knowledge base that works on top of your local folder of plain text files, right? So this is the person that wants to create a knowledge base uh, that works locally, okay, and, and enjoys Markdown. So you see that all these, all these apps out there, they're, they're designed for somebody in mind. So we want to look at that. We want to make sure that the apps that we're choosing are designed for you. Now, choosing an app that you both love and is easy for you or intuitive for you to use uh, is found by answering two questions. Number one is, why do you take notes? And number two is, how do you take notes? Let's start with, why do you take notes? To answer this question, we want to start out by writing three different reasons on why we're taking notes, right? What is your vision whenever you are taking notes? Taking notes is a, a means to an end. What's your goal? What are you trying to achieve whenever you are writing down your thoughts or ideas? You come across something that's inspiring. You want to keep things for later. Why are you doing that? And, and maybe you have four or five or two reasons, right? I just wouldn't go over five reasons. At that point, it gets kind of watered down and ineffective. We just want to think about what's important here. What's at stake if I don't take notes, right? Now, for me, I take notes to remember meaningful moments, to improve my thinking, and to express or create, right? So I, I want to put that aside for a second because we're going to use that example here in just a moment. So once you write down the three things, um, three reasons that you want to take notes, the next thing you want to do is plug in the what would make this easy question with your reasons. The idea here is to start thinking about the features that would support your reasons. Okay, we don't want to start with features first and chase those. We want to start with why. Why do we want to take notes? And then we'll allow that to define the features that are important to us. Now let's take my example here uh, of the three reasons to remember meaningful moments, to improve my thinking, and also to create or express. Okay, so here's how it would look. We would start with what would make it easy to remember meaningful moments. And we're talking about a notes app. What would make it easy to do that? Um, some things that I thought of are uh, I needed to be able to easily capture notes, quick capture. I need a, a simple 
UI, right? Not a lot of fluff. I don't need to jump through hoops just to jot an idea down. I need it to be fast. I need it to be efficient when I'm using it. Uh, maybe the ability to add photos, right? If I want to remember meaningful moments, why I need to be able to add photos if I want to do that. Number two is, what would make it easy to improve my thinking? Some things that I was thinking about are the ability to connect ideas, so bi-directional linking, powerful search. Those are some features that I'm thinking about when it relates to the, the, the reason that I take notes, okay? Uh, maybe to be able to visually see the patterns of thought and ideas that I have. And then what would make it easy to create, to express. Maybe it works well with other apps. It's easy to share. Maybe there's multiple sharing options that I'm looking for. Uh, and also easy to write in, right? If I'm gonna be able, if I'm gonna be creating things and creating articles or whatever it is, uh, written word, I need to be able to write easily in the app. The idea here is that your why becomes the filter for finding the right features. Not just any feature, and not just any cool feature or the next awesome feature that comes out. We want to we want we want to find the right features that link up to our goals. If I'm chasing features without knowing my why, I'll end up choosing an app that maybe everyone else is is using, and it seems like it's going to work. But at the end of the day nine out of the 10 features I'm not gonna use or it's gonna get in the way. It's just not made for me, right? I need to find the app that's made for me. Real quick, if you are finding this valuable, would you mind liking and also sharing this with a friend? That would be super helpful for me. All right, let's talk about how you take notes, right? We talked about why do you take notes? That was the first part. Now it's how do you take notes? And, and here we're looking at your note taking style, all right? Um, and to figure out your note-taking style, uh, we're gonna go look through the lens of the code method, uh, which is a, a method from Tiago Forte in the Building a Second Brain book. And this is to help you figure out what you prefer, your preferences, whenever you're capturing, organizing, distilling, and expressing, All right? So capture. The question is, how do you capture notes? And I'm thinking about content. Here. Like, what type of content are you drawn to? I mean, for me, I, I am a big book fan, so I'm writing down lots of quotes and book notes. I'm not really an articles person, but if you are, if you like to save a lot of articles, or if you're reading tons of articles, maybe a feature that you can think about is, does this app, ha app have an easy way to save articles? Does it have like a web clipper or something like that? Right? Maybe it's emails. Is there an easy way to just forward the email so that I can save it in my notes app? If you love emails, you're, maybe you're subscribed to a lot of email newsletters that are important to you and you want to save those for future use or reference, how easy is it to save that in the app that you're looking at? Uh, maybe you're a templates fan, okay, and you're thinking about um, capturing, maybe you have different templates and you and you love to be able to uh, create templates and, and save time that way. Uh, maybe that you want to look for something like that in an app where they actually have templates for the different types of content that you are capturing. And the other thing is accessibility, right? Do you need access offline? Are you going to be in areas where it's going to have spotty internet and you need to be able to still jot down and, and, and use your notes app. Also think about devices. Is it syncing and between all devices? If I use my mobile and my, my iPad and I use my computer, is it talking to each other easily? No issues there, right? And the other thing that I want to mention is uh, to pay attention to the mobile version. If you're like me, I am constantly using my notes app on my on my iPhone because um, it's accessible wherever I am. If at any point I come across something that inspires me or if I have an idea, I can easily take the app out and jot down my idea, right? But if it's not a great mobile experience, if it's slow, if it's hard to use, you won't use it. So make sure that you are looking at both desktop 
iPad if you're an iPad user, mobile. Look at all these devices to make sure that it's a great experience on all of them. At the end of the day, it should be easy and frictionless to capture notes. That's what we're looking for here. Now let's move to organize. Organize, how do you prefer to organize your notes? Is it folders, tags, both folders and tags? Or maybe no folders, right? There's an app out there called Mem uh, that does not use folders. It's a self-organizing workspace. And it sounds awesome. I've been watching it grow up as an app and I'm keeping my eye on it because it's very interesting. But I will say it's not for everybody, right? If, if no folders is gonna throw you off and, and, and keep you from jotting down your ideas where you're fixed more on the uh, upke upkeeping of the app or trying to make it work, it's just not worth it, right? The whole goal is for you to be able to capture things that inspire you and, and then use those to add value to someone's life and create. And if it's not doing that, if it's getting in the way, find another app, right? If an app is not intuitive for you, whether it's the, the next best thing or the next wave of technology using AI, if it's not intuitive for you, you're not gonna use it. Let's talk about the still, right? So how do you prefer to distill your notes? Think about that. Do you like styling your notes? Uh, like lots of formatting options. You like different highlighting colors. You like different text colors, font sizes. Um, do you like putting things in quotations and blocks and grouping things together? And I mean, do you like designing your notes, right? If you're a visual person and you like designing, maybe you like to add photos, that's something you want to think about. Um, maybe you just like plain markdown. You're like, hey, you know what? I don't need all the styling stuff. I just want plain markdown. I want to keep it simple. And you need to think about that as well. It's something you, you prefer whenever you are trying to make sense of your notes and, and trying to um, distill them. And then finally, express, right? How will you share your notes? Do you need uh, multiple exporting options, right? Or maybe do you want to collaborate with others? That's something you need to think about in, in the notes app. These are all the preferences that you have when it comes to capturing, organized, distilling, and expressing. And they're gonna help you along with your why, why do you take notes? This is gonna help you with the how do you take notes? Both of these things working together so that hopefully at the end of this, you have kind of a list of features and important things that you wanna look for in an app. So when you start doing your research, you know exactly what you're looking for. You're not looking at what's the, the latest app out there. You're looking at, okay, what app has these features? What is the best app for these things, these five, six, seven things that I've found that I really need that are important to me? Now, I will say one last quick tip, and this may be common sense, but maybe not, right? You wanna test drive before going all in. If you're gonna go buy a car, before you buy the car and put down the cash, you're gonna get in the driver's seat and you're gonna take it for a test drive. Uh, it's the same thing with the notes app, right? Some of us may be, uh, you know, may have tons of notes already. Maybe you are a note taker and you've been taking notes for years and years and years and you have this whole backlog of, of notes and, and all that. Like before you move over, like just test drive it. A lot of apps have the free version, right? Which is awesome. You get a lot of the features with it and you can kind of get an idea of, is this gonna work for me or not? So in addition to doing the research after you find your feature, find the things that you think are gonna be important to you after doing the exercises of why and how do you take notes, then you need to test drive it and figure out once you've nailed it down to maybe three apps, you're looking at three different apps, now you need to test drive those apps and see if they're gonna work for you. Now after you've test driven your app and you're ready to jump in, it's time to set it up. I'd love for you to check out this next video where I show you my setup and actually how I organize my notes based on the two phases of creativity.